What's up everyone? My name's Eric Ayala and I'm a tattoo artist and I will today read some Yelp reviews. And today the what I'm going to read is actually one of my favorite favorite Yelp reviews I've ever uh seen. It was at a shop that I worked at. I know um one the person that this review is about is a really really good friend of mine and uh I mean, now we can laugh about it. It's, uh, it, you know, it was like four or five years ago this review was was posted, and uh, I'm just gonna read this review, and then I'm gonna give you my thoughts and and kind of uh, what happened on the other end, and I'm gonna give you guys kind of a, um, you know, kind of a perspective from from our point of view. You know, tattooers, we don't like Yelp, um, because you know, well, there's a lot of things. Yelp, uh, you know, they they kind of shake down businesses. Um, if you're not advertising with them or giving Yelp money, they're going to make more of your bad reviews stick. Like they have like the recommended and the unrecommended views or reviews. And, uh, they're going to make the ones that are, um, if you're not giving them any money, you're going to get a lot more one star reviews sticking and a lot more five star reviews being not recommended. And, um, so it's it's kind of a it's kind of a shakedown for businesses. And if you don't have money, especially like small businesses, if you don't have a lot of money to be able to like throw at Yelp, because it costs a lot, man. I mean, one shop I was at, we were spending I think it was around fifteen hundred a month that we were giving to Yelp. Just so, you know, we could have our good reviews stick. Isn't that crazy? It was like fifteen hundred dollars a month. And this was like years ago. So, I, I mean, they probably upped it now. Um, but, yeah. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to read uh, this review. It is it is horrendous. And it is the most ridiculous uh, thing I I remember when this happened. And, and you know what's funny? It's like it, it, was, it was ridiculous. And then also um, it really, I mean, it was my, my good friend it, this review was about, you know. And even though all of us were like, yeah, no, there's just no way. You know, um, it, it's still, it's still bummed him out, you know, even though, uh, you know, th that somebody, I don't know why, but somebody somehow had this idea that this is how this went down, you know, it just bummed him out as, as it would. I mean, a lot of tattooers, we take, we take pride in our, in our shit. We try to, we try to do a good job and try to like, make sure, uh, people are happy and, um, you know, some, sometimes they, uh, <laughs> I don't know why. Anyways, I, I, you know, I, let's, let's read it and then I'll, I'll kind of go more into it. Okay. So this is the previous, so this is, uh, they, they did two reviews. They, they updated the review. So I'm going to read the previous review, which is the initial review. Okay. <clears throat> Went in for a tattoo in September. My tattoo artist blanked out who drew a great picture of exactly what I was looking for. When does that ever happen? Um, it's 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 hard to you know somebody somebody comes in for a tattoo and they're they just a walk in and they kind of explain what you want what they want and you just draw it and you get it you you can draw exactly what they were looking for. My gosh, that was amazing, man! I almost want to shout you out just so you can uh, just so you can get credit for that. My friends and I were all charged 100 for each of our tattoos, even though they were all varying degrees of difficulty and size. <laughs> Again, a person thinking that they understand uh, what makes a difficult tattoo. I get like if you're like size, size wise. I mean, I'll tell you what, man. If I'm doing a skull like this big, there's going to be a lot of negative space, you know? So you're going to get a little bit, uh, you're going to get charged a little bit less because it's, it's not as much work and I'm, I'm done with it quickly. Um, you know, if it's just like a straight up skull, I mean, those things are white. They get a little bit of, a little bit of shading. I mean, you're not, hopefully you're not blasting white into, into a skull tattoo. If you are, oh my God, change, change what you are doing. That's wrong. But um, okay, so this person believes that they know uh, de degree of difficulty. Oh my gosh. All right. My friend was tattooed first, uh, then me, by the same person. After my friend was done, he went into the bathroom for a long time and came out with his tattoo gun in his hand. Oh my gosh. As you do. That's a, that's, that's a normal thing. Let me, let me take the clipcord off the machine 
and let me like walk into the bathroom with this thing. You know, like that would never, you're never going to do that. Why would you go to the bathroom with your machine? And from his, where his station is at, he has to walk across the whole shop to walk into the bathroom holding his machine, which if you walked by me holding your machine and it still had the, the needle and it, you just got done tattooing with it, I'd be like, what the hell are you doing? You know, that's just not, it's simply not done. Okay. Um, he had to rinse out all of the purple ink in his tattoo machine. I'm assuming, uh, she, so he went to the bathroom to rinse out uh, the purple ink from his tattoo machine. First of all, his station has a sink right next to it. So why would he go all the way to the bathroom, walk across the entire shop where everybody could see so he could rinse out his, uh, rinse out the purple. Also, if he had color in this, uh, in this tattoo, he probably has a rinse cup. You know, that's that's a little cup of water that you'll see when you're getting tattooed. There's a little rinse cup. And that's how you kind of rinse out the color and then you can switch colors. Because you can't just like dip in a color and then dip in another color. They're just going to mix and you're going to end up with a, a muddy mess. So it's confusing to me um, why you would take it into the bathroom. You know, like, you know, if, if this happened, it did not. Um, I did not see a new needle. Oh, really? Yeah, because needles are extremely expensive. And at this shop, they aren't. They aren't extremely expensive. Um, they're actually quite cheap. Um, uh, and I did not see a new needle. Okay, so um, also at this shop, the owner provides all the needles and supplies. So why would you go through the time of, uh, of rinsing out the needle to use it on your next tattoo? It's just, it's simply not done. It doesn't make any sense. Honestly, it really doesn't. Anyway, the tattoo looked great. Well, there you go. End of review. Five stars. <laughs> Just kidding. And I followed all of the instructions that were given uh, by my tattoo artist. Good. Thank you. Thank you for doing that. Uh, three weeks later, the tattoo was still very painful and red all the way around. Well, you probably didn't follow the instructions then. Things went from bad to worse. Oh, no. I live in Los Angeles, so I could not return to have it looked at. I did go to the doctor instead and showed it to another tattoo artist who told me it was infected. So did the doctor or the tattoo artist? Uh, as a tattoo artist, I, I don't think I'm qualified to tell you uh, anything Anything is infected. Um, eventually, I was put on antibiotics and sent to a wound care clinic. Oh, my Lord. Getting really intense with this. I mean, I've had, I've had plenty of tattoos get infected, as anybody that has uh, been tattooed often. Um... The reason I had gotten my tattoos infected was because I didn't take care of them. I left this completely sanitary place where I got tattooed. And maybe I got one on my leg, right? And I didn't keep it covered. Maybe I was walking, it was dusty, kicked up some dust. It's an open wound. You have days where you could still get this boy infected. So um, a lot of times when people get their, uh, their tattoos infected... I highly doubt it was from um, anything the tattooer did. Uh, you have an open wound. You're leaving uh, a, a sanitary environment, and um, you're you're going out, and you're going out into the world, and then you might, you know, kick up some dust or, or whatever, rub it on, um, you know, I don't know what people do. You know, people are gross. So uh, a lot of times people get their tattoos infected themselves, uh, just being out in the world and... You know, maybe you bump into something. I mean, you know, you're at the grocery store or something, and you grab. Maybe you had your tattoo on your forearm. You put it. You put it on the cart before we were sanitizing them. And uh, yeah, there's a bunch of germs. For people's hands. Ugh, gross. Don't be careful with your tattoo. It's an open wound. All right. Um, went to the wound care clinic. The tattoo was horribly infected. Um, by this time, the entire tattooed had shriveled into one big scab that when rem uh, one big scab that when removed a large hole filled with pus and black flesh was revealed ugh that sounds very gross i had to endure uh debridement debridement uh of the entire tattoo uh area leaving me with a gaping hole in my leg that measured 2 by 2 and a half inch deep Oh, my Lord, they had to cut that sucker out, huh? 
that's uh that's rough I, i'm sorry that that happened that's a bummer um man this is why you got to be careful with you and on the leg i'm telling you we did this uh we did this little uh experiment i remember in middle school where everybody took uh it was like in for science class everybody went around the school and they they took a little swab and they like swabbed areas trying to get and whoever uh whoever got the most bacteria um on their little swab um won right and so um you know everybody went to the locker room went to bathrooms like just swabbing the hell out of everywhere right what we ended up finding out was um the person or the the teacher was like uh told told one person swab the back of your leg if you're wearing shorts swab the back of your leg and so toilet seats um the drain in the in the uh locker room all this stuff got beat by the bacteria that was on the back on the calf of uh somebody that was wearing shorts because you kick up all this debris all this stuff you're walking on so your legs are really susceptible to infection so be careful with those all right a lot of bacteria. All right. It was one of the most painful things I had to endure. Again, that's a bummer, man. That sucks. The pain alone from the infection and subsequent treatment has been excruciating. That's terrible. Yeah, if you if you would have got on antibiotics quickly, I, I think you might have uh, been able to avoid some of this. I tried contacting the owner and left messages to no avail. I, I highly doubt that. The owner is, a, is, is very professional, very business-minded. He was never in and never returned any of my calls. The wound was cultured by the clinic and contained the following bacterial infections, a couple of which only come from E. e. coli and the urinary tract. Well, that just, I mean, you know, that could have been a, it's on your leg. You go sit down at a public restroom or, like I said, kicking up dust. You go walk in a public restroom, <clears throat> which... um. Yeah, if you're on vacation, you know, uh, she came out from Los, Los Angeles. Uh, she was probably on vacation and, um, you know, was walking around a lot of areas, especially, uh, wow, I just wish I could, I wish I could give you a little bit more, but I think it would reveal too much. Um, uh, following bacterial infections, here's the list of uh, uh, staff, uh, Oh my gosh. Anyways, I'll, I'll post this thing. I can't read these. I don't know what these are. Um, the doctor at the wound care clinic told me that the tattoo artist drove the ink way too far into the flesh. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Um, I have a really good friend that's a that's a doctor, and she will probably watch this, and she will she will back me up. I guarantee you. Um, doctors don't know shit about tattooing. You don't know anything about driving the ink way too far in the flesh. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Get out of here. It was very deep into my leg. The flesh also had to be removed as it was causing the infection. Well, that's you already said that. The infection was devastating, and I will be left with a horrible sensitive scar on my leg. I have photos of the wound uh, from its inception to what it currently looks like. Yeah. I don't remember uh, seeing any of these photos. Um, I bet they're gross though, <laughs> you know? Well, so, uh, yeah, as I read this, I, I just, it's, it's a crazy story. It's a crazy story to think that, um, a, a tattooer would go into the bathroom with your, and, and you made that up because of, you got the E. coli and the urinary tract thing. So you're making this thing up about a tattooer taking their, their thing into the bathroom um, because of, uh, you know, because of, because of the disease that you're, you're working backwards from the problem you had, you know, but I guarantee you, you were walking around probably in some gross areas. You probably had shorts on, you, uh, let your tattoo out and, and into the gross world, <laughs> especially on vacation. You're probably walking around, you're sleeping on, on, um, you know, in a hotel, uh, gross sheets you know what i mean like it's just uh, it's a lot of a lot of things um and, and you know when i when i tattoo people from out of town they're on vacation i tell them like dude wrap it up overnight wrap it up like just keep it safe you know it's an open wound it's gross you know like there's the world is disgusting so um this is insane right and i and i think um actually what's crazy is i think this lady went on to sue the shop 
which she lost that battle. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I'm actually in the middle of uh, getting sued right now, not for tattooing, for uh, another business I have. Um, it's all baloney. Um, but uh, it costs a lot to try to sue uh, a company. And if you if you lose, um, especially after filling out a waiver and all that stuff, it's just a, it's just not a good idea. Um, they had no case and then she, you know, she had to pay retainers and all that stuff, man. She, she lost some money on this deal. So of course she's upset. All right, here, I'm going to read the updated review. Instead of calling to discuss what happened, the owner decides to attack me for my review. I understand why he, why he, uh, attacked her. Um, this review is, uh, scathing and it also is, uh, completely falsified other than the fact that I do, I don't, I, I believe you probably did get an infection. I believe you let that infection go for a little bit too long. Um, you should have gone on the antibiotics uh, quickly. Um, then you had to go to a wound care clinic and uh, get some flesh cut out of your cut out of your uh, get some get some skin cut out of your flesh. You know, Ugh. get the get the whole thing cut out. Which I actually I had a friend that he got a uh, he got an infection uh, from an ingrown hair and he's got a hole in his arm because he let the infection go for too long. So you just gotta be careful with infections. It's not necessarily tattooing. Okay, um, that proves he is not a good business owner. I don't know how that proves he's not a good business owner, but instead chooses to attack someone who's chosen to tell exactly, or actually tell what actually happens at this place. That is not what actually happens at that place. The place is actually, it was uh, really, uh, the owner is incredibly uh, careful with uh, with everything he, um, Make sure you're you're doing things correctly, and everybody kind of has to get on board with um, being extremely uh, sanitary, which, you know, a lot of shops are. The health department is a mother. All right, the tattoo artist actually took his gun or needle, since there's no difference. <laughs> gun or needle. It's called a tattoo machine, but that's neither here nor there. Needle into the restroom to clean it after the tattoo he had just completed. Ugh, that sounds crazy. He, he probably rinsed it in the toilet, right? Get out of here. Um, he did not put a new needle on, but instead cleaned the one he had just used. That makes n literally no sense. Okay, like I said, this shop provides you with needles, provides you with everything. Needles are inexpensive. Also, if you're using a needle that you already use, it's just going to make your job harder. Like, why would you do that? You're trying to be fast. You're trying to get get people get people going. There were a couple walk-ins. You know, you had a group of people you're trying to tattoo. Why would you use a dulled needle that you already used? It just, it literally makes no sense. It would just be fighting. You'd just be fighting with that needle the whole time. It, you just, it, it just would not be done. Okay. Uh, he also took his ink into the bathroom. To mix water into it. Okay. <laughs> what? Oh, man. You took your ink into the... Damn, dude. What are you doing over here? Came out and apologized for taking so long. Saying it took so a long time to get the purple from the previous tattoo out. Literally, no. Just no. The ink was pushed a half inch into my flesh. No, it was not. Um, the, the needles where the solder is, uh, needles cannot be pushed that far into your skin. They, like a lot of people want to say a lot of things about, uh, needles being pushed way too, way too far into your skin. The way needles work is they are, um, to get certain thicknesses, you, usually people don't use a single needle unless it's like really, really tiny tattoos. Um, so needles are in arrangements of a bunch of needles being brought together. You know, and so there's a solder that brings all these little needles. They they have to so they have to be soldered together. The amount of needle that sticks out from that solder, unless he's tattooing you digging the solder all the way in, which is literally impossible. The needles can't be. A lot of times, you can't be digging in too deep. It, it's just it's just not possible the way needles are set up. So a lot of times, people are like, "Yeah, you just went you went too deep." It's just not a, not not really a thing. I'll be honest with you. Not the way a tattoo is supposed to go. Way too deep. I did contact other tattoo artists who saw the tattoo and infection. I was told by the wound care doctor that this is only done by inexperienced or bad tattooers or tattoo artists. The wound care doctor is all of a sudden knows what an experienced or bad tattooer 
<laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, if you want to see photos, I will post them on my profile. I looked. I couldn't find them. Uh, the owner had the photos I posted on this page taken down because he did not wish to have anyone see what can happen at a dirty shop with bad tattoo artists. Well, it's not a dirty shop. It's a very, very clean shop. Uh, the owner is super anal about uh, the cleanliness of, of the tattoo shop. So um, we take, well, we did when I worked there. We took a lot of uh, incredible precautions, you know. Uh, maybe some would say a little bit of overkill, but it was, you know. Um, yeah. Ridiculous. <laughs> Ridiculous. And uh, people people read it, thought this was useful. Um, this is why we hate uh, hate Yelp reviews because because she just said a bunch of stuff. It's, it's just not true. None of this is true. We, mixing, like taking the ink. Oh, and then I forgot in my first review, he also did take the ink into the bathroom to mix water into it. Why would you do, you don't mix water into your ink. It doesn't make any, I just, you know. So anyways, <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, I'm just gonna let this one be its own. This is the most ridiculous, most ridiculous review I've ever read. Um, hopefully, I gave you a little bit of insight. I think I'm going to read uh, a few more reviews. Um, but hopefully, I gave you a little bit of insight. If you like this video, please um, please like it. Please f like actually click the button that lets me know that you like it, you know? And um, if you like the stuff I do, please subscribe. Uh, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you on the next one. I'm going to actually probably record another another review here right now but uh thank you so much for watching i love you